Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Recently I bought a ViewSonic 27 inch monitor for, um, let me see how much it is, for $239 Australian. So probably around, let's say 200 and something American dollars, less than 230, maybe 200. So really cheap, okay, really cheap for a 27 inch. And you can see here it has pretty much all the features that you need, such as a uh, HDMI port, uh, speakers, it has a stand, it has a full HD, uh, so, and it's LED monitor, so it saves a bit uh, it uses a, le a bit less power which is a really good thing so let's try and open this up and see what happens This is the stand that the monitor is going to sit on. Some uh, a sound cable, power cable, DVI cable, VGA cable. You can see here that the stand, you can twist it up and down, you can make the screen go up a little bit, but the angle is not very steep, so make sure you're aware of that, that's about the maximum you can push it up to, not very steep, uh, and then if you want to go back down the other way, that's about the maximum. So, let's make it do that. Now let's see the two monitors side by side. On the left hand side is a 22 slash 23 inch monitor and on the right hand side is my new 27 inch monitor. So you can decide whether it's worth the upgrade. Okay, let's try and turn it on. So I've just connected it to uh, HDMI. They're on identical, oh no, I've extended the desktop to the right hand side so you can see how much bigger it is. So uh, let's try, go on YouTube and play a video. You can hear, you can hear the sound that's coming from the monitor. So one thing you'll probably realize is that the monitor is really bright. So in order to turn the brightness down, on the bottom right hand corner you'll see, uh, I guess, five buttons. The button that is labeled with the number one, if you press that, it brings up the menu. And then this up arrow and down arrow, these two arrows, you can move the options up and down and if you click on the first one contrasts uh click the second button from the left that says two click on that and that will let you go into the menu and then if you go down again and turn the brightness all the way down so select it again and then press the down arrow and go all the way down to 
I'd say maybe 20. Okay, just turn the brightness down a bit. And you can also turn the contrast down a bit as well if you believe it's too high. So I'm going to uh, go up to the contrast and turn it. Oops, so press 1, go up to the contrast, press 2 again, and maybe go down to about 50. Alright, and then get out of it by pressing 1 so it's not as bright. Okay, but it's up to you, whatever colors you like better, just keep tweaking around using the same concepts. So I've actually turned the brightness down to zero, and another thing I found was, if you go to the main menu, and you go down to uh, audio adjusts, okay, and you can see that the volume hasn't been turned up to the top. So I would suggest you turn it up. So click, uh, so go up to the top, press two to get in, and then go up to the top. Right, turn it up to the top. And then, um, so make sure you do that. And if you really want to save power, you can also go to manual image adjusts and turn on eco mode and that will save a bit of power for you alright and go to conserve and that will oops conserve so you save a bit of power that way and then um, Alright, see you guys later.